Hey guys, Stephanie with AmericaMuscle.com here with my review and an install of the Mac Boom 2 Axleback Exhaust for the 2015 and up S550 EcoBoost Mustang. We're going to be talking about a few different things with this exhaust today, but mainly we'll talk about the sound of the Axleback and the install. The install for this is going to be easy. It's a 2 out of 3 wrenches in the difficulty meter since there is some cutting involved, but I'll get more into that later. The Mac Boom 2 Axleback Exhaust is going to be a good option for the S550 EcoBoost owners out there that are looking for a loud and aggressive sound from a muffler delete Axleback system. This is one of the more budget friendly options as far as Axlebacks go, but it produces a good sound that isn't over the top and it's made from 304 stainless steel as well. I'm going to be honest here, a lot of times a muffler delete system like this one here is just a little bit over the top on an EcoBoost in my opinion. It's overly loud and it's just noise to me. The Mac here isn't like that. The system is definitely louder than stock and deeper, but it's not an uncontrolled loud. It really wasn't as loud as I thought it was going to be, but I don't think that's a bad thing. It has a nice deep tone and a good level of volume, and even some crackle on decel, but not too much, so it just adds to the overall sound that this produces. I will say that while this system isn't really all that loud, it is just an axle back, so you are maintaining your stock mid-pipe and you're still catted. This system, like any Axleback, can and will get louder if you modify your exhaust further, but as it sits right now, since this isn't the loudest Axleback out there, I'm going to call this a 3 out of 5 on the loudness scale, one being a very quiet upgrade and 5 being very loud. There are some quieter Axlebacks out there, and also some louder ones as well, if this one isn't what you're looking for. A lot of aftermarket Axlebacks open up turbo noise on the EcoBoost, and this one is no different. You get a ton of blow off and turbo spool with this axle back, and honestly, I don't think that that's something that you can get away from with the EcoBoost. You're opening up that turbo, and as a result, you make it more noticeable. This axle back does have a muffler delete design, so it obviously has no mufflers, but it has resonator tips instead. The tips have peripherated baffles that control the exhaust note, and they work to keep down the popping sound that you end up getting with a lot of other muffler delete systems. Eliminating the mufflers is going to eliminate a lot of the restriction that you normally get with a traditional style muffler and reduce some back pressure. This is a two and a half inch system that's made from mandrel bent 304 stainless steel and it doesn't get much better than 304 stainless. Stainless steel has advantages over other materials like aluminized since it's going to hold up much better over time and it has great corrosion resistance. This system has four inch polished stainless steel tips and because this is that muffler delete system, it has resonator style tips. You can see that these are longer tips than what you normally see. And speaking of that, this entire system is a little bit longer than what you normally see. Normally an axle back is a little bit shorter than this, but Mac gives you longer pipes here. As far as price, this system is one of the more budget friendly systems that are currently available. You can expect to pay between $400 and $500 for this, even though it is that high quality stainless steel. But even so, this is more of a muffler to lead system, so it has less of the expensive material than a normal muffler setup would have. One thing I don't like about this system, though, is the clamps that come with it. If it were me, I would go get a better clamp than this, but I am a little bit picky. But that's the downside of going with a more budget-friendly system. You miss out on some of the nicer qualities that you get with the higher-end options. You're going to be looking at the typical cut and clamp design with the install for this axle back, since you need to cut all S550 axle backs. I'm going to call this a 2 out of 3 wrenches on the scale, but just because of the cutting that's involved. It's nothing difficult, but I just recommend some eye protection and a fresh blade to make the cutting easier. Overall, you're looking at about two hours to get this done. A lift would certainly make things easier for you here, but the job can be done on jack stands as well if you don't have access to one. Cutting the factory axle back isn't hard. Just be sure to measure twice and plan to mark what you'll be cutting so you don't make a mistake. 
This axle back, like I mentioned earlier, is a little bit different than most and you will be cutting further up, right after the factory mid-pipe. The new axle back does come with new clamps for you, so you don't have to worry about that. And when you go to install your new setup, it'll probably be best to leave everything loose until you have it all lined up and then tighten it down. All right guys, wrapping things up here with the Mac Boom tube axle back exhaust. This is a full 304 stainless steel system for the S550 EcoBoost that offers a good amount of sound. It is a muffler delete axle back system, but it's not overly loud in my opinion. As always, I suggest you guys check this out more online for yourself. And for all things Mustang, keep it right here at AmericaMuscle.com.